xong hay Your Excellency, Minister of Research and Technology, Head of National Agency for Research and Innovation, Professor Bambang Permadi Sumantri Brojonegoro, PhD, The Honorable UNESCO IOC Executive Secretary, Dr. Vladimir Riabini, The Honorable Chairman of Indonesian Institute of Sciences, LIPI, Dr. Laksana Trihandoko, The Honorable Chairman of UNESCO Office in Indonesia, Professor Sabah Khan. The Honorable Chairman of Indonesian National Committee for UNESCO, Professor Arif Rahman. The Honorable Chairman of IOC Westpac, represented by IOC Westpac Programs Officer, Dr. Wen Zhu, Deputy Chairman of Earth Sciences, Indonesian Institute of Sciences, LIPI, Professor Dr. Oki Karnarajasa, Director of Research Center of Oceanography, LIPI, as Director of Regional Training, and Research Center, Marine Biodiversity and Ecosystem Health, RTRC Marbes, Dr. Augie Shahilatwa, Acting Head of Center of, for Development, Educating and Training Pusbindikal TV, Mr. Radin Arthur Ariololono, PhD, Distinguished Partner from Indonesian Ministry of Research and Technology, National Agency for Research and Innovation, Respect Brin, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Coordinating Ministry of Maritime and Investment, Ministry of Marine Affairs and Fisheries, United Nations Development Program, UNDP, Archipelagic and Island States Secretariat, and also the World Bank. Distinguished guests, trainers, college and participants, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon. And this very special occasion today is a great pleasure for us to welcome you here at the opening ceremony of the International Training Course on Mangrove Health Index, Regional Training and Research Center on Marine Biodiversity and Ecosystem Health, RTRC Marbes, from Monday, November 16th to Saturday, November 21st, 2020. Singing the Indonesian National Anthem, Indonesia Raya. Ladies and gentlemen, opening today's event, welcome speech by Deputy Chairman for Earth Sciences LIPI as Indonesian National Focal Point for IOC UNESCO, Professor Dr. Oki Kanarajasa. Time is yours. Thank you very much. <coughs> Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Very good morning, very good afternoon. <coughs> Uh, Excellency Minister of Research and Technology, Chairman of National Agency for Research and Innovation, Professor Bambang Brujonegoro, 
The Honorable UNESCO IOC Executive Secretary, Dr. Vladimir Teapinin. Honorable Chairman of Indonesian Institute of Sciences, Dr. Laksana Trihandoko. The Honorable Chairman of UNESCO Office in Indonesia, Professor Seth Fatkan. Honorable Chairman of Indonesian National Committee for UNESCO, Professor Arif Rahman. The Honorable Chairman of IOC WESPAC, represented by Program Officer, Dr. Ben Sisu. Distinguished Partner from Indonesian Ministry of Research and Technology, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Coordinating Ministry of Maritime and Investment, Ministry of Marine Affairs and Fisheries, also World Bank. Distinguished colleagues, guests, trainer, friend, and participants. It is a great pleasure to welcome you all to Indonesia virtually for attending the opening ceremony of UNESCO IOC RTRC Marbes Mangrove Health Index Training 2020. This training will be held from today of November 16 to November 21st, 2020. This training is one of the programs from UNESCO IOC Regular Training and Research Center for Marine Biodiversity and Ecosystem Health, widely known as UNESCO IOC RTRC Marbes. The Mangrove Health Index Training is RTRC Marbes fifth international training since it was first endorsement by IOC West Pacific in 2016. Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. The Mangrove Health Index Training is a evidence-based training based on scientific research of long and national coverage mangrove monitoring and survey conducted by Research Center for Oceanography of Indonesian Institute of Sciences through Coral Reef Rehabilitation and Management Program Coral Triangle Initiative. Mangrove Health Index has accommodated some essential ecological parameters, and we do hope that this will contribute to the development of international standard of Mangrove Health Index. The result of long-term and national coverage of mangrove monitoring is not only the Mangrove Health Index, but also has generated innovation that improve the efficiency on mangrove survey, including the use of mobile phone-based application. A total of 30 participants joined this training that's come from 11 countries, including 15 participants from Indonesia and other 15 participants from IOC and Archipelagic and Island State member state. As for lectures and invited speakers, we have honor in having several experts who have confirmed to share their expertise and knowledge in mangrove research, including Professor Martin Zimmer of GMT Bremen, Germany, Professor Farida Hanum from UPM, Malaysia, Dan Fris PhD from National University of Singapore, Dr. Anwar Fitrianto from IPB University, also colleague from uh, Research Center for Oceanography. Ladies and gentlemen, pandemic COVID-19 does not stop us from doing science. An adaptation to the new normal era through new habit and attitude is the key. Therefore, all participants will join the training through learning management system. Research Center for Oceanography and Center for Development Education and Training of LIPI has been collaborating well in preparing this training. I very much believe that this training is not only to enhance the knowledge and skill of mangrove index, but also to strengthen our partnership in developing program related to regional marine science and technology. Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of RTRC Marbes, I would like to take this opportunity to sincerely thanks to UNESCO and IOC WESPAC for their supporting to make this training possible. And also I would like to thank the following institution that have supported our activity tremendously. Ministry of Research and Technology, Indonesian National Commission for UNESCO, Coordinating Ministry for Marine Affairs and Investment, Ministry for Foreign Affairs, UNDP, 
uh, AIS Forum, World Bank, as well as Corbett CTI. Thank you very much for the organizing team for their tireless effort to make this training successful. Last but not least, I would like to convey my sincere appreciation to all participants taking their valuable time to participate in this important training. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, next the speech by the National Commission of Indonesia for UNESCO. Professor Arif Rahman, time is yours. Rahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. First of all, we have got to thank God the Almighty for the, our opportunity to meet in this important event. And also blessing for our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I am the chair, the chairman of the National Commission of UNESCO Ministry Education and Culture of the Republic of Indonesia on behalf of our minister, Mr. Dr. Nadim Makarim, I would like also to congratulate to all of you and to uh, wish you a good deliberation in this training or uh, to aim and to facilitate the dissemination of information related to the widespread mangrove ecosystem in order to be transferred and applied in the Indo-West Pacific or Westpac and its surrounding. This is very important and I believe that this meeting is very, very fundamental for us for our future development in this respect. Last but not least, I like to say thank you for giving me the opportunity to give a comment and also to say uh, congratulations on the opening ceremony of international training course on mangrove health uh, index. Thank you very much. Wabilahi Taufiq Walidaya. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you very much, Professor Arif Rahman, the Chairman of the National Commission of Indonesia for UNESCO for having delivered that speech. Ladies and gentlemen, the next program on today's agenda is the speech by Program Officer, UNESCO IOC Westpac. Dr. Wen Sizu, time is yours. Or, uh, thank you very much, or, Salaman Sayong. And your excellencies, uh, honorable minister, respected chair and deputy chair of uh, the Indonesia uh, Institute of Science, and you know, uh, Professor Arif from Netcom, and also Pak Adido from UNESCO uh, Jakarta office, uh, and Pak Oki, Pak Oki, Pak Naksana, and also many friends in LIPI and other institutions in uh, Indonesia. It indeed gave me a great honor to join this opening for the RTRC MyBest training on Mangrove Health Index. So first and foremost, I sincerely wish you and all fam your families all the best and, and would like to express my sincere appreciation to you, you know, for the tremendous efforts has been made, particularly in such a challenging time. So it has been five years uh, since all UNESCO IOC member states in this region unanimously supported the offer by LIPI to host a regional training and research center on marine biodiversity and ecosystems. So based on what I heard, a number of positive feedbacks from our member states and lectures and our young professionals, I think are adequately demonstrated the effectiveness and the efficiency of the RTRC MAPES Center in the past five years. So there are totally five training has been conducted for more than I think 100 young professionals, not only for the region, but also beyond the region. 
So please uh, allow me to take the liberty to analyze several key success factors that are leading to the success, uh, successful operation of RTRC, MABES, today. I think the first one is the high importance that our LIPI and all of our you know, Indonesia authority have been attaching to the ocean and their unwavering commitment to promoting ocean science development and cooperation among all countries in the region. Second, I think there's a universally recognized areas of, of specialization that LIPI has and the strong partnership that LIPI has been developing with a number of ocean development agencies, research institutes, and also experts in the region and beyond. Third, I think uh, uh, so far, the RTRC, Marbais, and LIPI established a very unique government industry research education and the community collaboration model for really transforming the capacity and the knowledge for societal needs. Last but not least, I think it's a indeed a great pleasure for me to work with a very professional and passionate team in LIPI RCO, who are really the two heroes are working from behind the scene. So I think our distinguished IOC Executive Secretary will give our inspiring keynote about the UN Decade of Ocean Science for Sustainable Development. We are truly convinced. So building on the success of MARBEST over the last five years, that Indonesia, LIPI, and the MARBEST Center will continuously make great efforts and contribute its best practice and further demonstrate how ocean research could really support our countries, its communities in achieving their sustainable development goals. So please be assured of our continued support. I wish you all the best. I wish you a great success with the training on the mangrove health index this year. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Wenzi, for having invited the speech and the message from the UNESCO IOC website. Next, we're going to have the speech by the chairman of Indonesian Institute of Sciences, LIPI. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Laksana Trihandoko. Okay, terima kasih, Mbak Ami. Your Excellency, the Minister of Research and Technology, Pak Bambang Brojonegoro. Uh, hopefully, uh, Pak Bambang will join us soon. And the Honorable IOC Executive Secretary, Dr. Vladimir Rabinin and also Chairman of UNESCO Office in Indonesia, Professor Safas Khan, and the Honorable Chairman of Indonesian National Committee for UNESCO, Professor Arif Rahman, uh, Chairman of IOC Westpac, represented by IOC Westpac Program Officer, Dr. Wen Sisu, and of course, uh, one of my Deputy Chairman for Earth Sciences, the Indonesian Institute of Sciences, Pak Oki, Distinguished partners from ministries and, and institutions across Indonesia and also the World Bank. Distinguished colleagues, guests, trainers, uh, friends, and participants. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Selamat siang, salam sejahtera, salam sehat untuk kita semua. Very good afternoon for everyone. It is a great pleasure for me on behalf of LIPI to meet you all, even virtually uh, this evening in this opening ceremony of UNESCO IOC RTRC Marbes Mangrove Health Index Training uh, 2020. So as already uh, mentioned by Dr. Oki, the Mangrove Health Index Training is the fifth, the, the fifth one, yeah? I mean the fifth one of the regional training and research center for marine biodiversity and ecosystem, which we call it as the RTRC Marbes. Uh, endorsed by the UNESCO through the Intergovernmental Oceanographic Commission or IOC West Pacific or Westpac in 2016. Yeah, that, that was the, the first one, uh, 2016, as I remember. And distinguished ladies uh, and gentlemen, LIPI actually is supposed to be a leading research institution in R&D and also uh, the utilization of science to improve our national competitiveness 
ya, di fasiliti uh, the oldest and the largest uh, research institution in Indonesia. And therefore, uh, LIPI has developed several strategies to realize science-based innovation that could benefit our stakeholders. Yeah. On the other hand, our research should also increase international recognition of Indonesian research in the respected fields, yeah, including the marine biodiversity. And then the, the RTRC Marves, yeah, this uh, training is one of our instruments to achieve such expectations. And uh, in particular this year, again, it is a great honor for all of us in LIPI to host uh, and to organize uh, this uh, mangrove health index training that is uh, organized by RTRC Marves. Yeah? And this year training is really special yeah? because uh, of course not only we have to, uh, because we have to adapt uh, to the new normal life yeah, due to the endless COVID-19, which no one knows uh, when it will end. But also because we, uh, as already mentioned by Dr. Oki, we adopt also the new training method using a uh, new system for e-learning uh, developed by uh, uh, our uh, centers. So, this thing is guess, uh, ladies and gentlemen, by disseminating the method and formula of mangrove health index uh, across West Pacific area, yeah, and also archipelagic and island states member countries, we are hoping the mangrove health index uh, introduced by uh, Indonesia could be recognized as, uh, as an international standard in the future. This would help us, yeah, we, we do believe that uh, this would help us to monitor, to conserve, and also uh, to utilize uh, the mangrove across the globe. So in this occasion, uh, I would like to convey my appreciation to the team pioneering the development and implementation of the mangrove health index across Indonesian water, in particular, uh, in the CTI, yeah, Coral Triangle Initiative area. So, concluding my speech, uh, I would like to congratulate again uh, Research Center for Oceanography and our Center for Development, Education, and Training of LIPI, who have been uh, working together very well, yeah, quite well, to prepare and to make this training happen. We do hope more collaborations between LIPI, UNESCO, IOC, Westpac, AIS Forum, UNDP, and so on will come and continue in the future. We also expect uh, continuing support from our Ministry of Research and Technology, also from our Ministry of Foreign Affairs, yeah, as a part of uh, soft diplomacy, maybe uh, through science. So finally, Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank all trainers. Yeah, I, I, uh, I cannot mention one by one, one, by one but, but uh, as far as I see, uh, there are some trainers from CMT Bremen and US Singapore, UPM uh, Serdang Malaysia, IPB University, and also uh, some of uh, our colleagues from Research Center for Oceanography Liti, who are willingly uh, giving uh, their precious time and their expertise to all participants. And last but not least, uh, thank you very much for organizing this training. And special acknowledgement also goes to Dr. Vladimir Yapinin, the, the Executive Secretary of IOC, for delivering a special talk today. And before ending this speech, I would like to kindly ask uh, Bapak Bambang Rajanagoro to deliver keynote speech and thereafter uh, soon to open today's mangrove health index training. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you very much, Dr. Laksana Trihandoko, the chairman of LIPI, having delivered the speech on behalf of the Indonesian Institute of Sciences at LIPI. Ladies and gentlemen, next we kindly invite the Minister of Research and Technology, Head of National Research and Innovation Agency, Ustek Prin, to deliver the keynote speech concerning mangrove in Indonesia, and we kindly request His Excellency to open the training officially. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Please welcome Profesor Bambang Permadi Sumantri Brojonegoro, PhD. Uh, thank you, uh, Utami. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Very good afternoon for Indonesian participants and very good morning, very good evening for participants or speakers uh, around the globe. Uh, Honorable UNESCO IOC Executive Secretary, Dr. Vladimir Rabinin, Chairman of Indonesian Institute of Science, Dr. Laksana Trihandoko, Honorable Chairman of UNESCO Office in Indonesia, Professor Shah Baskan, Honorable Chairman of Indonesian National Committee for UNESCO, Prof. Arif Rahman, Honorable Chairman of IOC Westpac, represented by IOC Westpac Program Officer, Dr. Wen Siziu, Deputy Chairman of Earth Science Indonesian Institute of Science, Prof. Oki Kanarajasa, distinguished partners from Indonesian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Research and Technology, Maritime and Investment, Marine Affairs and Fisheries, from UNDP, from Archipelagic and Island State Forum Secretariat, and also from the World Bank, distinguished colleagues, guests, trainers, colleagues, friends, and participants. Such a pleasure to meet all of you on the occasion of the opening ceremony of the UNESCO IOC RTRC Marbes Mangrove Health Index Training 2020. Before I get started with my talks, I would like to express my sincere appreciation to LIPI, especially to UNESCO IOC Regional Training and Research Center of Marine Biodiversity and Ecosystem Health, RTRC Marbes, to hold their fifth international training. Without further ado, I will start my talks concerning mangrove ecosystem in Indonesia. As a country with the second longest coastal line in the world, only second to Canada, as well as a country with one of the highest biodiversity in the world, it's no surprise that Indonesia contributes around 23% of global mangrove, in which we have 49 true mangrove and 155 associate mangrove plant species. The total area itself, because Indonesia is uh, quite a big country, for mangrove area is more than 3 million hectares. Almost 50% located in Papua Islands, but also Sumatra, Kalimantan, as well as islands of Maluku has quite a uh, big uh, mangrove area. And then everybody knows about the importance of mangroves, especially we in Indonesia have to really understand the importance of mangroves. Some of them related to the you know, fisheries activities. So the mangrove will provide subsistence and commercial fisheries, and also for aquaculture, as well as, of course, source of traditional medicine. But then the function or the role of mangrove is even more relevant for Indonesia because Indonesia is uh, located in the ring of fire with a lot of potential volcanoes, uh, earthquake, as well as tsunamis. And since in the last maybe 15 years, we already had several tsunamis uh, incident, then the existence of mangrove becomes even more relevant because mangrove will protect beach and coastline from storm, waves and flood. And you know very well about the tsunami. It's even bigger than just storm, wave and flood. Uh, this is quite a uh, devastating uh, disaster. And then, of course, mangrove will reduce beach and soil erosion. Uh, and maybe for our Indonesian colleagues, you might witness what happened in the southern part of Java, in which uh, there are a lot of uh, erosion on the, on the coastal area on the southern part of Java. And then helping to stabilize land by trapping sediments, maintaining water quality, as well as regulating climate through carbon sequestration. And then not only from, you know, for protection, mangrove is also 
you know, quite important for tourism and recreation, and also supporting uh, nursery habitats, cycling, nutrition, and biodiversity. Let me tell you a little story about my experience with mangrove. When I was in previous position as Minister of Natural Development Planning, I happened to open a jazz concert in mangrove area, as in Momere, which is located in Forest Island, uh, province of East Nusa Tenggara. So the question why they hold the jazz concert in Momere? Of course, number one, they want to promote tourism in Momere, in the Forest Island. But secondly, they want also to, they want people to remember that uh, years before that, Momere was uh, attacked by a tsunami with, I think, thousands of fatalities. And after that, after the tsunami incidents, they started to you know, grow the mangrove area uh, in Momere. And finally, when the mangrove area becomes you know, basically complete, then they would, they would like to show to you know, other people that Maumere now has mangrove for protection from any possible uh, disaster from the ocean. And secondly, this mangrove is also help supporting the idea of making Maumere as tourist destination. So we know that mangrove is very uh, strategic for few areas everywhere in the world, including in Indonesia. But we are now witnessing mangrove degradation. Of course, uh, this has been a concern, especially again, Indonesia is very vulnerable to potential tsunami and also uh, the erosion, beach and coastal erosion is quite strong. So the existence of mangrove is necessarily the necessarily important and we are quite concerned with this degradation so how can manage the mangrove to avoid this uh, continuous degradation i believe one key factor is stakeholder cooperation because mangrove cannot be managed only by one or two institutions of course local people and local government have to be has to be supportive there's no doubt about that but then, since mangrove has a lot of uh, strategic position, then certainly the state, some stakeholder, especially from uh, ministries, uh, needs to be involved. So, for example, in our case, Indonesia, Ministry of uh, Environment and Forestry must be involved together with my uh, previous office, which is Ministry of National Development Planning, I remember when I was the minister, we are uh, formulating the low carbon development in Indonesia, in which part of this low carbon development is about revitalization of mangrove. And then Ministry of Marine Affairs and Fisheries and coordinating minister of maritime must be involved, plus, of course, the research institution in this case, LIPI, or Indonesian uh, National uh, Science Institute. So these stakeholders need to work together and they need to focus on some areas like mangrove rehabilitation and also mangrove monitoring. And then, of course, we have to calculate what will be the contribution of mangrove, mangrove in NCD, nationally carbon uh, determined. And then, Part of this uh, so-called basic infrastructure of mangrove is one map policy. And in one, one map policy has been, in Indonesia has been fully supported by not only uh, regulation, but also institution, and especially uh, geospatial information agency. But then Indonesia now trying to uh, basically reorganize our mapping policy. Previously, we had several maps, even for certain areas. And these several maps could give different analysis, different review about what happened in that area. So first thing first, we need to create this one map policy, including for mangrove. So we know how, 
which areas that needs revitalization of mangrove or which area that needs mangrove, you know, as a part of the natural protection against tsunamis and other potential natural disaster. And then a team has been deployed to this to make this uh, one map policy from uh, from different ministries, agencies, including geospatial information agencies and also other ministries, plus the research institution like LIP itself and also LAPAN, Indonesia National Institute of Aeronautics and Space. And of course, we involve, we try to uh, uh, get the involvement of international institution like Wetland International. So mapping will be conducted gradually and after 2020, a periodic update will be conducted for all the mangrove areas. Of course, we have to understand about the size of Indonesia as the second longest postal line in the world. So it means that we have to do it fast, but at the same time, we have to do it uh, gradually. And then uh, the role of mangrove, of course, is very critical in Indonesia low carbon development and nationally determined contribution. And as we know, mangrove will impact to many areas and not only impact to the environmental issue, but also impact to human being. For example, if uh, the mangrove is managed well, I remember uh, my experience uh, went to the fishery area in Lombok, which is in West Nusa Tenggara. Then uh, we found out that the prosperity of the fishermen will be uh, helped if the mangrove is well managed. So if the mangrove is not well managed, there is a problem for uh, fishermen to get them, to do the fishery activities around the area. So the role of mangrove is not only important for the environment, as we discussed before, but also important for uh, the farmers. And then uh, we have uh, established under the Ministry of Marine Affairs and Fishery, Center for Mangrove Restoration and Learning. And of course, we hope that this special attention to mangrove will create awareness to the people that having mangrove in our coastal area is a must. So it's no longer an option, it's no longer a choice. It's a must because not only about uh, disaster protection, but also for the living and for uh, environmental uh, sustainability. And then of course, the rehabilitation needs to be done and Ministry of Environment and Forestry is leading in this area from the planning, uh, especially from the planning side. But then of course, uh, they need to involve in the, in the implementation, especially in the planting. Of course, the planting activity will involve the community groups, the local community groups. But uh, we have to make sure that the community will plant the mangrove as planned, as planned by the Ministry of Environmental uh, and, and Forestry. And then after that, after the revitalization of mangrove areas, there has to be monitoring and evaluation. There were a lot of incidents in which lack of monitoring and evaluation leads to the loss of a sizable area of mangrove in different areas in Indonesia. Of course, economic motives behind, uh, act, behind actions that uh, destroy the mangrove areas. And sometimes uh, without good coordination, without good monitoring, a mangrove area could be suddenly turned into you know, a, a seaport or an area, open beach area that you know, intended for the tourism, but actually it can hurt the environmental protection. So this Ministry of Environment and Policy needs to be really in charge, full in charge for this rehabilitation system. In terms of planting approaches, because you know, part of the implementation, the, the important part of implementation is planting, you can do it by traditional way or through silver fishery, by clusters or by enrichment. Whatever the method or whatever the pattern that selected, the most important thing is the effectiveness. We have to make sure that 
after different after we let's say pick one approach then it will be best suited for the area and we want the mangrove to be you know uh, really growing and becoming an integrated part of the region without hurting the environment without hurting the fishermen especially and without hurting for example the local economic activities i think an example that i raised before about mangrove area in momeri showing that you know because what i understand at the time that uh, people in momeri really want that mangrove as a protection because they already had a bad experience of uh, losing you know thousands of their friends and families due to the tsunami at the time there is no uh, or very very few uh, mangrove area but then they set up they 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 are growing the mangrove area they maintain that and in fact they st still doing the revitalization of the area and finally they make the area not only just mangrove for protection but also part of their tourism activity, including the jazz concert that I opened at that time. And then how we can do the monitoring? Of course, we have to combine between the traditional monitoring approach and of course, the modern monitoring approach. The traditional monitoring of course, uh, approach, of course, requires, you know, human touch. People or personnel have to be deployed to make sure the monitoring going well. But at the same time, we need to develop. This is the era of Industrial Revolution 4.0. So we need to use Android website, you know, and also any type of uh, uh, technology in order to do better monitoring. And of course, for human tasks, you need to have a trained and certified person to do the monitoring to make sure the motor monitoring will give uh, will uh, impact uh, in a good way and uh, on the next page yeah we can just see the the type of monitoring that has been done in indonesia next page please next page alma berikut we can see the type of monitoring that has been done using uh, application and of course everybody might have different needs doing the monitoring but the most important thing we need to have the tools to do the monitoring and then for certification because again human touch is still needed you know even though this is uh, automation area this is industrial revolution area so uh, we have five certification scheme and we already have 55 certificate holders majority still dominated by male and then 51 assessors including seven mangrove assessors and four test centers this is all resources in lsp research center for oceanography in lippi and then uh, if you look at mangrove health index uh, this is one example laguna segara anakan we can see that uh, the condition probably uh, mostly in uh, moderate of course we have to avoid the poor condition because once we identify an area with poor uh, health of uh, mangrove then of course we need to revitalize the mangrove but i believe we need to you know push for excellent condition of mangrove all around indonesia given the you know the benefit of giving protection and also uh, supporting or increasing the productivity of fishery around the area and then uh, related still to the monitoring there is an application called monman an android based application for data recording analysis and interpretation there are activities in recording and also analysis that has been done and in 2021 they, it can do species determination dbas estimator carbon storage protractor and database and as you can see everything can be analyzed through your uh, cell phone so i think this this has to be you know uh, mainstream of monitoring of mangrove in the future so it has to be 
related to industrial revolution 4.0, 4.0, but at the same time, of course, we need still to improve the capability of uh, the assessor or people who do the monitoring uh, physically. What will be the future agenda? The future agenda would be synchronization of mangrove management action to optimize mangrove management and utilization in Indonesia, and also data sharing and integration. Looks simple, looks general, but this is essential for Indonesia because somehow, sometimes the bureaucracy still maintain the silos and then data sharing still sometimes a luxury thing, hard to be done. So this is a time in order to really promote the mangrove revitalization and understanding the importance of mangrove, then this kind of sharing and integration needs to be integrated. So uh, from my presentation before, I would like to emphasize that government uh, of Republic Indonesia applies scientific-based policy to manage our natural resources, especially in the mangrove ecosystem for sustainable utilization and beneficial to the society. The policy of Republic Indonesia supports the improvement of science that in the end will support the policymaker to take the best decision in order to fulfill the needs of society respected to the national and regional agenda. I'm glad to see science is pushed to the right way where innovation provides beneficial options that support our vision as a great maritime nation and stand together with surrounding neighbor countries to improve human capacity building. Ladies and gentlemen, in my opinion, activities that have already been conducted over the years by the RTRC Marbes is one of the ways to support the vision and mission of the government of Indonesia to increase the capacity and competitiveness of the nation and to achieve Indonesia as a global maritime fulcrum. I believe that RTRC Marbes will be one of the arts for science diplomacy in the region, whether in the ASEAN, West Pacific, and even at the global level. It speaks of the importance of the collaboration in universal, in universal language, science that unify us hand to hand over nation boundaries. RTRC Marques also demonstrates how innovation serves as a beneficial solution to achieve the vision respected to global cooperation. Now, I proudly open the RTRC MRPS Mangrove Health Index Training 2020 officially. Thank you very much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you very much, His Excellency, for having delivered the keynote speech, as well as having opened the training officially. Next, photo group session. Please activate your video. Oh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. May I have your attention, please? We are going to have a photo session. So please activate your videos. And we are having four slides or four pages. So uh, we will start the photo session from slide one to slide four, respectively. All right, Mr. Host, are you ready? All right, for slide one first. One, two, three. Well, next slide, slide one, slide two. One, two, three. All right, next slide three. One, two, three. And last but not least, the last slide, slide four. One, two, three. All right, thank you very much, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Please, Ibu Utami as the MC. Thank you, Mr. Yunus. Next, we're going, uh, sorry, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Next, we're going to have the video of Mangrove Health Index training overview. Please enjoy.
the UNESCO IOC Regional Training and Research Center on Marine Biodiversity and Ecosystem Health, here and after referred to as RTRC Marbes, was officially endorsed RTRC Marbes on 26 October 2016 by the UNESCO IOC West Pacific or Westpac. RCRC Marbet's focus on developing regional human resource capacity through training, research, collaboration, and scientist exchange with the following details. Develop and strengthen the capacity and capabilities of human resource, particularly young researchers and lecturers from member countries in the West Indo-Pacific region through training related to marine biodiversity and ecosystems. Establish and develop a common platform for methodologies in marine ecosystems, health monitoring especially coastal ecosystems such as coral reefs, seagrass, and mangroves. Promote scientific collaboration among experts in this region and beyond on long-term marine ecosystems health monitoring. Facilitate the transfer of knowledge and technologies related to biodiversity, assessment, ecosystem health status, and trend for policy application. Since 2016, RTRC Marbes already conducted four training in regional scale and 15 national training. With around 5,016 alumni spread around the world. In 2020, RGRC Marbes conduct the Mangrove Health Index Training Research Center for Oceanography, LIPI through CORMAP CTI project conduct scientific activities such as field surveys as the base of Mangrove Health Index or MHI. It accommodated some essential parameters which are not only community structure proxies such as canopy coverage, plant density, diameter, height, but also plastic waste coverage and wood logging frequency are included. During 2019, a formula of index has been approved and validated by national experts through National Scientific Conference. As the fastest mangrove in the world, developed MHI formula from Indonesian mangrove could be encouraged as an international standard. Based on this reason, the training on mangrove health index is needed to disseminate the platform at regional levels. Due to pandemic crisis, the Mangrove Health Index training course will be conducted online through LMS. A learning management system is a software application for the administration, documentation, tracking, reporting, automation and delivery of educational courses, training programs or learning and development programs. The learning management system concept emerged directly from LIPI e-learning system that has been developed by the Center Development, Education and Training LIPI. Participants will be learning independently through downloadable module in the LMS. As for the interactive part between instructors, invited speakers and participants, an online class through application system will be used to optimize the course. To replace the field session that classical training needed, 
we will use a video tutorial to guide participants to study about mangrove health index. Selected participants will have an individual account to open the LMS. All modules, video tutorial, assignments, daily schedules, and other related information will be put in the LMS. In this year's Mangrove Health Index Training, RTRC Marbes invited four international lecturers and four national lecturers. We selected 30 participants for more than 100 applications that had been submitted to the organizing committee. RTRC Marbes acknowledged the following institutions that are giving their full support for the Mangrove Health Index Training 2020. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, next we're going to hear the keynote speech Ocean Science for Sustainable Development by the Executive Secretary of the UNESCO IOC. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Vladimir Ryabin. Good morning, good afternoon, uh, everyone, uh, Honorable Minister, uh, dear uh, friends and colleagues, uh, uh, for example, um, uh, our colleagues from LIPI. Uh, uh, I, I know that also online there are some uh, old uh, colleagues from the older times, uh, Zanal Arifina, uh, Arifina is, uh, is on, online, Dr. Oki, uh, Dr. Laksana, uh, our colleagues from IUC, you know, this list is long and it's absolutely wonderful that can greet you all uh, working for the same purpose uh, to have our ocean healthy. So I would like to start my presentation by thanking uh, LIPI for continuing to organize and, and Marbest for continuing to organize uh, um, the, uh, the trainings in, in most important area because I think ocean is becoming more and more important and also science is becoming more and more important in the times when we uh, really uh, are suffering from the coronavirus and I think this also unites us all in our uh, quest to move the ocean science forward despite all the problems. So I would like to present to you today uh, the United Nations Decade of Ocean Science for Sustainable Development. But uh, before I do this, uh, I also would like to present to you a little bit uh, the IOC of UNESCO, which is uh, the home of ocean science in the United Nations system. And this year, uh, on the 14th of December, we are celebrating our uh, 60th anniversary. And uh, since uh, the start of, uh, of IOC of UNESCO, we had 40 member states. Now we have 150 member states. So uh, what we do, we coordinate research, uh, we turn this into data and observation, uh, 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 turn observations into data. We uh, develop different types of uh, services and from Indonesia it is very important to have, for example, tsunami warning service. Uh, so we work also uh, in the domain of policies and assessments and this takes us to the domain of, uh, of um, of governance and uh, in the presentation by the minister we saw how science is turned into governance and to, into actions and of course this all is about capacity development in the member states so this is a huge portfolio uh, and we have to do it in the global level and also we do it on the regional level 
And this on the slide, you will see uh, the area which is uh, uh, shown in, in the yellow. This is the area of West Park. I would like also to thank uh, the leaders of West Park and the Secretariat for excellent work uh, on, uh, in moving the, the regional science forward. West Park is our absolutely leading uh, regional subcommission in UNESCO. So this is uh, just a little bit of introduction to uh, IUC of UNESCO. Uh, but I would like, uh, of course, to say that uh, ocean science has started long time ago, uh, actually in this uh, area of the world uh, in, in which this seminar, uh, this training is happening, was one of the first uh, in, in the history of humankind when uh, people started to travel uh, across the ocean. Uh, but now I think the ocean science has to be given a little bit more practical uh, uh, focus. And this is, uh, uh, I think, uh, enshrined in the United Nations uh, Agenda 2030. This is the agenda of sustainable development with 17 sustainable development goals. We all would like to live without poverty, uh, uh, with uh, nutrition, in good health. So this is uh, that agenda that unites us all in uh, providing to the world uh, those uh, important goals and targets. So we have 17 sustainable development goals, 168 targets. And among uh, the goals, we have the sustainable development goal 14 uh, about life in the ocean with 10 targets. And this is really important that uh, we on, not only look at this sustainable development goal as, uh, as something that is focused only on the ocean. This goal is important for everyone to live a better life. And that is exactly how IOC understands that, uh, that goal uh, through science, through cooperation, focusing on the services that are provided by the healthy ocean, we can live better, as simple as that. But I would like to say that, unfortunately, there are very significant issues in the ocean. And uh, according to the assessment of the United Nations, which is called World Ocean Assessment Number One, um, or there is a kind of a longer name for this, uh, of this assessment called First Global Integrated Marine Assessment. In, uh, so in 2016, this assessment basically concluded that we are all humankind running out of time to start managing the ocean sustainably. So this has to change. And um, with that, I would like to say that the situation right now is, um, is uh, quite, uh, I would say, the, the moment that we live in is, is very, very significant for the history of, of, our, of our civilization. So to me, this reminds the situation in which the world was in 2009, when the, all the science of climate change was already presented to the states, and they had their meeting in, in Copenhagen of United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. Um, this uh, meeting did not... Uh, uh, and with, with the conclusion of an agreement. And um, only in 2015, the Paris Agreement was signed. And now we, we see that emissions continue to grow. Uh, you know, we'll, you will see on this graph that uh, uh, very recently there was an abrupt change, negative change in the, in the emissions. This is rela related to the coronavirus. But what is it? This, this graph tells us that the science needs to inform the governments, the public. Uh, after the conference in, in, of parties in Copenhagen, uh, climate scientists coined their social contract. So they have to be committed to convey the knowledge and stop uh, the dangerous development of, 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 of warming because we, uh, we need to change uh, the emissions. We need to uh, reduce the emissions. I think now the situation is more or less similar with, uh, with the ocean science. We need to use the ocean science, promote it, and, uh, and make sure that ocean becomes healthy. So this let's unite us all in, in, in doing so. This is actually a huge area in which uh, we have to, to work in many dimensions and the health of mangroves is in a very important element in the many elements that exist right, right now uh, in the agenda of ocean science. So let me very briefly run you uh, with, uh, in a, a, I would say a little bit narrative, uh, a little bit subjective uh, assessment of where we are in the science. Science started on the basis of curiosity. 
we only wanted to discover what happens in the ocean, the new islands. So uh, science now is at the stage when we can diagnose uh, what is happening. And the health index, for example, is showing of the, the, the health of mangroves in certain area. Uh, now we need the science that is able to provide solutions. And also the minister already was presenting to you how we can deal with, with the uh, mangrove cover in cert certain areas. For that, we need to measure the state of the ocean. You cannot manage what we cannot measure. And we have already a system that uh, of uh, observations that is capable of measuring mostly physical parameters of, of climate. We need to add to this ecological, biological parameters, even social parameters, and turn this into data system. Uh, I would say uh, ecosystem of, of, of data. Uh, we still have ma major knowledge gaps in the ocean that concerns particularly uh, the, our knowledge of deep ocean, uh, uh, polar oceans, uh, and uh, the world is still uh, quite uh, illiterate when it comes to the ocean because uh, uh, many people, of course, uh, most of people live on land and they don't think about the ocean. In order to uh, change the situation, we need an ocean literate and uh, well-informed society. So this is because of that it also our call to, to, to move forward and inform everyone about the role of the ocean. That the ocean, for example, produces more than 50% of oxygen uh, uh, for, for us to breathe and, and many things uh, like that. So funding uh, is mostly in the uh, research mode. So from one grant to another grant, and this actually makes it very difficult to have sustained observations. So we need to demonstrate to the world that ocean science is a part of the value change that is so important for our survival. And capacity of ocean science is totally uneven in the world. We need to develop technology and transfer technology. And this is basically the agenda for ocean science. So recognizing this, uh, I would like just actually to add to, 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 to you, uh, to, so you can understand where we are in the, in the ocean science in the practical sense. I would like to show to you this, uh, this map. This map shows to you a, a surface with, in which you can see probably a trench, you can see some mountains, and you would probably immediately, I would immediately recognize it's the uh, bottom of the ocean. The problem with this uh, slide is that this is not bottom of the ocean. This is the surface of the planet Mars. This is how well we know the surface of that distant planet. And for the ocean, the situation is totally different. So. This is uh, uh, the area that, uh, uh, that uh, in, in, in certain part of the ocean that we also know quite well. And unfortunately for many of you, this is a, a part of your own life because you remember the tragic loss of the one uh, Malaysian flight uh, in the, uh, around the Indian Ocean, the flight MH370. Uh, so uh, uh, in the result of this, uh, uh, this map that I showed, is actually the result of this survey that was done during the search of this airplane. And so this area uh, of the search is shown here by the uh, pink line. But previously, before that search, uh, the, we knew the ocean uh, depths in that area with that accuracy. You see that there are no, almost no features in that area. This is how really we know the, the depths of the ocean. Uh, and this is really uh, showing to us that we cannot predict uh, propagation of tsunami waves. We cannot predict even inundation uh, because uh, with, with that level of knowing the topography, we cannot move forward. So we need to change, for example, uh, our knowledge of ocean topography, of ocean depths, and many other areas. It was just a little illustration of where we are in ocean science. Now let's move forward. So 2016, we realized in the uh, EOC of UNESCO that we need to change that situation. And we proposed to the United Nations to conduct the decade of ocean science for sustainable development. On the uh, left upper part, you will see the title page of our proposal to the United Nations. So we really uh, in, uh, try to convince the United Nations that in order to have the ocean we, that we need, the healthy ocean, uh, for the future that we want, we really need to, to focus on the ocean science. And in December 2017, um, it means that three years ago, uh, the decade was proclaimed. We started to work on the implementation plan of the decade. And we engaged uh, 
all organizations uh, that uh, uh, deal with the ocean. More than uh, several thousands of people participate, participated in the uh, uh, seminar, uh, seminars and different brainstormings. And in the result, we have an implementation plan for the decade. I would like to present to you that plan and the vision of the decade that is the science we need for the ocean we want. So first of all, we would like to see the ocean uh, that is uh, uh, appealing to us. You know, we need to have clean ocean, healthy, resilient ocean, productive. Uh, uh, also, the ocean that is predicted. Uh, if this seminar is organized by a country that is suffering from tsunami. We need a safe ocean, uh, accessible ocean in, to, uh, in, in different ways, and inspiring and engaging ocean. What is really uh, clear from this, we need some qualities of the ocean, like you know, life in the ocean, cleanness of ocean water. But this is mostly about us people and our human relation with the ocean. So how we can otherwise understand uh, the societal outcome of inspiring and engaging ocean. Only by being, by being inspired and engaged in our business, like uh, Mark Best is in, 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 in engaged in the uh, education and training in ocean science, we can achieve our goals. So this is our dream about where we, we would like to be uh, in the, with the ocean by the end of the decade. But we have to focus on certain areas of, of work. And very briefly, I would like to run uh, you through the ideas of where we should work. We, as I said, we would like to have clean ocean. That means that we have to uh, get rid of pollutions, uh, pollution in the ocean and different contaminants. This will help us by understanding how ecosystems function, have the ocean that is healthy. We, we can restore ecosystems. This is also about mangroves. So healthy ecosystems, a healthy ocean will help us to feed people uh, uh, through fisheries and uh, aquaculture, for example, and also through other means, uh, but mostly fisheries and aquaculture. But this is uh, what we are going to do in the ocean. But uh, this is just a little part of this because we I have to develop ocean economy that is sustainable. The ocean economy is developing faster than other types of on the economy on land and is developing in more ecological dimensions. But this is all going to happen uh, under the influence of climate change. And this is really important because, you know, this will make tropical cyclones uh, more intense. Uh, and there will be some other consequences like ocean desertification and, th and, and things like this. So we really need to, to predict what is going to happen the, in the domain of ocean climate. And we spoke about tsunami already. So we have to have multi-hazard early warning systems that will be efficient. And for that, once again, we need observations. We need to represent the state of the ocean in the past, current, in the future, uh, in terms of uh, uh, a kind of e digital twin. And we have to move forward with, uh, in such a way that no one is left behind. Capacity development is important. And it is already presented to you what happened in 2009, when the Conference of Parties on Climate didn't come to any conclusion. So in, we need to in identify why it is happening in the ocean that we cannot change our behavior, that we keep polluting ocean, overusing the ocean. We need to, to find scientific ways to overcome uh, these issues and in, in instigate a behavior change towards the ocean. Now, so what we do, we call for different actions. So on the 15th of October, uh, IUC issued a call for decade actions of two sorts. Um, uh, the second sort is about uh, contributions to, su to support implementation of the decade in terms of coordination. But the first action is about calling for programs of, of the decade. These are the largest elements of the decade actions. Uh, you probably remember such fantastic programs in oceanography, like World Ocean Circulation Experiment, Tropical Ocean Global Atmosphere Study, uh, Sense of, of Marine Life. So such big scientific programs that really revolutionized uh, the ocean science, but we have to have such programs now that will be really, really practically addressing our issues with, with the ocean science and the ocean health. So, uh, on the 15th of January, the, the, the call will be closed, and we're already starting to work with the proponents, with the whole, uh, whole uh, society uh, of, uh, of, of, of oceanographers community, uh, trying to uh, design 
around the 10, 15, uh, 15 uh, big programs that will be changing uh, the face of oceanography for the world, making ocean science uh, serving sustainable development. And now the most important, of, uh, important part of my talk. So uh, the situation in the ocean has to change. And uh, uh, one way how we deal on land is that we manage our space. In the, in the cities, we know where the traffic lights, where how uh, 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 transport is organized, water supply, electricity supply is organized. So we need to move, uh, if we would like the ocean healthy, to integrated ocean management. For that, we have to observe the ocean, to understand processes in the ocean, predict its state, and use that information in terms of uh, managing oceans through coastal zone management. That will be also including uh, management of mangroves, for example, through uh, maritime special planning in the exclusive economic zone, through establishment of marine protected areas that are really efficient, not just politically appointed and many other means, for example, management of fisheries, also adaptation and mitigation of climate change is a way of managing the ocean. So many forces are coming together, uh, and I already spoke about capacity development. Many forces are coming together to, to contribute uh, science to managing the ocean. I would like to invite you to study the blue papers of, the, uh, of this uh, high-level panel of sustainable ocean economy. This panel was organized by the Prime Minister of Norway. I would like to state that Indonesia, and it includes 14 heads of state or government, and including Indonesia. Indonesia is, is a member of this uh, high-level panel, and the ad advisory group of this panel proposed uh, several areas of research. And I cannot read them all, but it is really important that now we understand what is the science that, is, that we need to manage the ocean in terms of food from the sea, in terms of solution to climate change and, and many other issues. And the new, uh, I think, picture is emerging of how we can manage the ocean through involvement of national accounting, through establishing human relations with the ocean, considering ocean finance, uh, uh, ocean e economy, uh, seeing uh, transitions in the ocean governance, so this is where we are, and I would like really invite you to study those, uh, uh, those uh, blue papers and special reports, and it will take you to a totally different level of understanding of how we can manage the ocean based on science. So this is, this is the big picture that we'd like to organize, uh, to know, to, to have in, in the years to come. And I would like to invite you to project your work in the, on the mangroves, also on this big picture, how they can, uh, interact and cooperate because managing of mangroves is probably in the in the view of this is small but a very important element that contributes to climate contributes to safety of the ocean uh, uh, you know makes ocean more beautiful feeds people so that is the picture of ocean science of the future that is human and also at the same time highly developed so we live on a planet which should be called should have been called uh, uh, of called planet ocean so uh, I would like to invite you to on the journey to the decade for 10 years to come. So today is what? Today is 16th of November. It means that 14 days, uh, 30, 45 days before the decade. So just get ready, please. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Vladimir Yabinin, for having delivered the keynote speech. We would like to highlight some points of what Dr. Riabinin has just conveyed. Today, ocean is in crisis where humankind is running out of time to start managing the ocean sustainably. We are now in condition where science is largely competent for problem diagnostic, and we would like science to be providing solution and motivation for action. As the vision of the General Assembly of the United Nations, it is states, the science we need for the ocean we want. We have some decades challenge such as to understand and act on source of pollutants and contaminants, to protect, monitor, manage, and restore ecosystem and their biodiversity. There are some blue papers such as food from the sea, climate change, and ocean economy technology, models, data. One thing for sure is one planet, one ocean. 
distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, who have accomplished all programs on the agenda of the opening ceremony of the International Training on Mangrove Health Index. For all participants, please stay online because after this, we have training overview based off the training agenda. Thank you very much for your attention. Good afternoon. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Pak Vladimir, for your keynote. Thank you, Pak Winsi, Pak Ardito, and all ladies and gentlemen who pay attention for the opening ceremony. Thank you very much for your attending. Thank you very much for your attention. Good luck. Thank you, Pak. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Pak Vladimir. Thank you very much. Great presentation, Pak Vladimir. Well, uh, Ibu Sofia, please. Okay, thank you. I think well, we, uh, everybody uh, can leave the Zoom room, except for the participants. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. Kita sampaikan terima kasih dulu. Yeah, Bapak terima kasih Bapak-Bapak yeah. dan Ibu sekalian. Yeah. <laughs> Ada Bapak Deputy, uh, yes. thank you very much. Uh, the Deputy Chairman for Earth Sciences Libby, Professor Dr. Oki Karnarajasa, for having delivered the speech in the opening ceremony. Terima kasih banyak, Pak Oki, dan juga uh, Mr. Wen Sisu masih bergabung sepertinya, Mbak Sophie. Dan Pak Ardito, Mbak. Yeah, terima kasih banyak. Thank you very much, Mr. An Ardito Kodijat from the UNESCO office in Jakarta for your yes. presentation in the opening ceremony. Yes, please, Ma Sophie. Thank you. Okay. Well, this event, next session is intended to uh, all participants of the training. We kindly Thank you very much. We would like to convey our deep gratitude for your participation in the opening ceremony. And next program on today's agenda is a training overview and LMS guidance. And uh, it is uh, especially for participants of the training. Ladies and gentlemen, all participants, please uh, wait a second. We are going to continue our agenda today in a few moments with uh, introduction and also a training overview and LMS guidance. And first of all, the session will be guided by uh, Ibu Sofia from Marbis. Time is yours, Ibu Sofia. Okay. Uh, thank you, Yunus. Okay, uh, participants of the uh, Mangrove Health Index training. Uh, first of all, uh, we would like to welcome you all to the training. Uh, 
it's uh, thank God we already uh, passed uh, the opening ceremony. It went well. So uh, I think without further ado, because uh, it's already more than a couple of hours uh, we connected through online. So well, we try to make it as simple as we can. Okay, before we, uh, yeah, before we go into acquaintance of uh, each other, because uh, in the next uh, weeks, uh, we have to communicate all of us in one Zoom room. So usually we always uh, make some kind of like ice breaking, uh, introducing uh, one participant by one. But before uh, we conduct the introduction, uh, we will kindly request uh, Dr. Augi Shahela Tua and also Dr. Arthur from uh, RTRC Marbes to give uh, special remarks. Uh, I think uh, we can start from uh, Dr. Augi first. Augi, time is yours to give some remarks. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Sobi. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, it's my pleasure to welcome you again to this uh, training, Mangrove Health Index training. So thank you very much for your participants and your uh, eager to um, do this training. I really hope that uh, you can enjoy the next five days with us at Lippi. So um, we have some uh, colleagues here from Lippi uh, will be help you to uh, enjoy this uh, training. Um, I know it's that the training is not just about the science of mangrove, but also about technology that you use because it's new normal for us. It's not just for you, for us as well. So Lippi also or uh, Puspin Diklat also learn a lot how to make uh, this uh, training uh, properly to everyone, to suitable to everyone. And uh, we really love uh, to help anyone uh, for uh, uh, for taking uh, this training. So, if you have any uh, concern about this training or uh, maybe constraint about the training, so please let me know. Especially, uh, uh, Miss Sophie or uh, Mr. Yunus, you can uh, just chat with them or ask them or anyone here uh, as a. Uh, instructor or a facilitator, you can uh, ask them as well. So don't be hesitate to ask anyone here to help anyone because we all learning by doing. Uh, so we don't have uh, very much experience for making a well, virtual training like this. So we, we also, we also, uh, we also uh, learning by doing so but uh, i hope that you enjoy the next five days training with us so if you like to learn a little bit about bahasa indonesia that's that's very good so enjoy it with like for example terima kasih or uh, selamat pagi selamat siang so just do it because uh, uh, the purpose of the training or the aim of the training is not just science of technology, but we also uh, doing a culture exchange. So please um, enjoy it. So thank you very much uh, once again and enjoy the training. Thank you, Sophie. Okay, thank you, Pa Augi. We will keep in mind. I'm sure that uh, after we finish meeting, all of the participants at least can say thank you or selamat pagi or even selamat malam. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. Um, let's move on to our next agenda. It, uh, there will be remarks from uh, Dr. Arthur Lalono, our uh, director for training Central Lippi. I think, Pak uh, Arthur, time is yours to okay. give some remarks. Thank you, Pak uh, Sophie. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, participants of the Mangrove Health Index trainings. Uh, first of all, the Center of Development, Education and Training, uh, together with the Marbes and Center of Oceanographic LIPI, welcome you to our learning uh, today. Like Pak Ogi said, it will be five days in advance. Thank you very much. I know it will be a different, uh, different time in some of the peoples uh, who have from, come, come from abroad. So it will be a challenge here. So I hope that uh, during this uh, uh, training, uh, 
we can uh, try to gain the most optimum uh, outputs uh, during the trainings. Uh, like I uh, mentioned before, these trainings will be conducted from the learning management system LMS. Uh, we hope that it is quite user friendly. If there are any problem in downloading or trying to maneuver or uh, explore the LMS, please do not hesitate to contact the uh, organization community and please use the communication uh, working group with either WhatsApp or email just to convey all the your problems or message. Uh, during this LMS on these five days, uh, I know uh, you'll be dealing more uh, looking on the screen and it is uh, quite challenging. Uh, I have to admit that usually do, uh, we have, if we have this training, we, we invite you to come to Indonesia uh, you, uh, uh, to have all this training and also uh, having the training and uh, experience the culinary, the, the cultures and all the others. But unfortunately, uh, during this pandemic, this is the best uh, sources and resources that we can offer you. Maybe after the pandemic is over, uh, we will try to reconstruct again all this uh, training in much more, uh, what do you call that, uh, normal way, such as we can come again uh, physically and we can meet in, in, in personally. At general, we hope that, I personally hope that all of you can enjoy this training and have a very fruitful discussion with the instructors since uh, the instructors also will be handling the participant with the online system. And we hope that this type, different time can uh, won't in, this encourage us. I hope that all of us has to have the good commitment and good spirit and I hope we can stay productive and stay healthy and during this pandemic. Thank you very much and uh, please enjoy the training and I hope you have a very fruitful result. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Pak Arthur, for the remarks. Okay. Uh, as Indonesian Swiss them said, tak kenal maka tak sayang. I don't know uh, how to translate that in English. <laughs> Yeah, uh, to to care, we have to know each other, <laughs> something like that. So I guess it's time for the introduction for each uh, participant because I haven't memorized all the 30 participants. So I think I will start the introduction from me first. Yeah, uh, as you can see, I am Sophia, so you can see my face now <laughs> as I uh, previously uh, we can uh, communicate uh, we uh, we communicate by emails now uh, I can see you all uh, nice uh, to meet you all and I think uh, we will uh, I will call one by one all the participants please mention your name and also your affiliation and your country okay I think we will start from Mehdi okay Mehdi uh, yeah, you may, you may, you may introduce yourself. Okay, where is Mahedi now? <laughs> uh, do we have Mahedi? Ah. Oh. Okay. May we can continue to Gary now, Gary? Uh, hello. Hello, Mehdi, where, yeah. where are you? Hello. Ah, yeah. Okay. Where are you? Yes. Cannot see you. Yes. <laughs> can you can you open the Am video, I please? Yes. Uh, please introduce yourself. But uh, yeah. hopefully we can see you. Ah, ah you are. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You may yeah. start your introduction now. I am. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you uh, to invite me and uh, joining with uh, yours. Uh, I am uh, Muhammad Mehdi Hassan Khan. I am uh, in. Uh, I am uh, working as wildlife and biodiversity conservation officer uh, under Forest Department of Bangladesh, and uh, I am work in Sundarbon mangrove forest uh, for last uh, six uh, six point five years, uh, and I am working in uh, uh, our head office right now, uh, uh, and uh, as a, uh, our uh, Research Information System uh, Unit uh, is called uh, RIMS Unit. 
uh, and so on. Thank you. Thank you for. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Mahendi. Nice to meet you. Okay. And now we start with Gary. Thank Where's you. Gary now? Okay, Gary. Hi. Okay, hi, Gary. Okay. Okay, hi, Miss Sophie. Okay. Hi. Uh, good day, everyone. So, thank you so much for the opportunity that I'm coming here uh, attending this uh, seminar. And of course, it's an awesome uh, opening ceremony. It's virtual, but it's actually smooth. So, that is uh, this good to the part of the facilitator. Okay, I am Gary Marapo. I am connected uh, with, affiliated with uh, Mindanao State University at Nauan. That is from the uh, Mindanao. I am a forester, uh, but uh, I am also uh, working with mangroves, but I am also more into the uh, geographic information system. So getting to know more is other later. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Gary. Next, we have Jared. Where is Jared? Okay. Hello? Okay. Hello, Jared. Okay. It's yours. No. Yes. Uh, I'm Jared, uh, originally from the US, but I live and work in Singapore. I'm based at Yale NUS uh, College and do research uh, in terrestrial forests and mangrove forests uh, related to uh, plant function, uh, community ecology, uh, and then also social science, uh, forest governance, and resource usage. Okay, thank you, Jared. Okay, and next we have Udara. Where is Udara? Hello, Mrs. Sophie. Okay. Hi. Hello, okay. So, yeah, I am uh, Udara Vishwagunitilaka from Sri Lanka. I am a, a master's student. Uh, actually, I am uh, doing, doing my master's degree in blue carbon dynamics, especially related to mangroves, tidal salt marshes, and uh, seagrass meadows. So actually, I'm very uh, happy to participate in this uh, training program. Thank you very much. OK, thank you, Udara. Now we have Buchanok. Where's Buchanok? Hello, Buchanok. OK. So where's Buchanok now? Okay, we will move to Chokai while we're waiting for Buchanok. Chokai? Hello, hello. Yes. Good okay, everyone. you may introduce yourself now. Uh, I'm Chokai. Chokai, and I'm from China, Sun Yat-sen University. And I'm a um, freshman in the university to make a, a study in for master. And I want to, uh, I'm interested in uh, mangrove research and then I hope I can learn uh, the uh, MHI from you. And that's, uh, that's all, thank you. Okay, thank you. I Hello. think, yes, okay, yes. now we can hear you, which channel, where are you? Yes, sorry, <laughs> my, microphone, my, my microphone is from okay. Hobart. Okay, because okay. after know that one, I have some problem about my camera and microphone, sorry. So okay, I can okay. show my face now. First of all, I have to thank for selecting me to the participants of the wonderful training. And my name is Buchanok Tongke. I studying at the, I study Master degree as Environmental management Backcountry, Bin of Songkai University, Thailand. Okay, and now I'm trying to, um, make the mangrove mapping in the at the species level for the future management, something like that. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, next we have Hung. Where, uh, where is Hung? Okay, oh. Hung, you may start. Hello. Yes, hello everyone. Uh, yes, my name is Hung. I'm from Vietnam. Now I'm working for the um, uh, Institute of Marine Environment and Resources, which belongs to the Vietnam Academy Science and Technology. And now I'm so a research researcher on a mangrove ecosystem, and also I very uh, thank to the uh, organizer for a very nice uh, training course, and it's so very interesting the topic nowadays. And uh, we also now could use the drone to, uh, to uh, observe the mangrove and also apply to identify the mangrove species also. So I hope this uh, training course 
we uh, have a good uh, cooperation and also have the good methods for the study together in the world and also in the South Asia country. And nice to meet you and hope the, our training very success. Okay, thank, okay you. thank you. Thank you, Hong. Okay, next we have Ali. Where is Ali? This is Ali. Good morning. And yes, good, good morning, afternoon, Ali. Okay. Uh, this is Ali from uh, Supreme Council for Environment, Kingdom of Bahrain. I'm working in Marine Project Assessment here. Okay. That's it? <laughs> okay, now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice to meet you, Ali. We'll get acquaintance <laughs> later on. Okay. Okay, next we have Chu. Where is Chu? Yeah, hello. Okay, hello. Hear me? Okay. Hello, yes. good, good afternoon, everybody. Nice to meet you all. Yeah, I'm Chu Denzania, and I'm a range officer uh, working at the forest department in Myanmar. And I mean, I've been mainly involved in one of their mangrove projects um, in collaboration with their embassy of Denmark. And I hope uh, this training program uh, will give me a lot of uh, technical support and, uh, and professional development and in, in my current field. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, thank you too. Next we have Nu. Where is Nu? No, in the absence is number 10. Where's Nu? Hello. Uh, I, yeah, we, we move to next participant. I, but I think Christabel is still not uh, available, I think. Uh, I think we will move to Isuru. Uh, Isuru is your time for the introduction. Okay, I uh, start. <coughs> yeah. Um Hi, Sophie and everyone. Um, yeah, so thank you very much. Uh, first of all, for having me here. I'm so excited to have this training. So talking about me, I'm a master's student um, studying <coughs> more, doing my research on mangrove blue carbon. So in there, what I'm trying to do is uh, to quantify the amount of carbon which is transferring from one ecosystem to the other ecosystem. So this, I think um, this uh, training program will be a very huge uh, thing for me when it comes to my master's degree. So I'm excited and uh, looking forward to do a lot of things throughout this training. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you, Isuru. Okay, next uh, we have Sahin. Sahin, it's your turn now. Yes, I'm here. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Mohsen Kobir from Bangladesh. Uh, I am working in forest department as an assistant conservator of forest. I'm working for uh, two years at uh, Mangrove Forest Sundarbans, you know, uh, uh, 2017 uh, to 2019. That's all for me. Okay. Okay. Thank you, uh, Sahin. Okay. Next we have Suchat. Where is Suchat? Okay. Good afternoon. Okay. Good My afternoon. name is Good. My name is Suchat Yampasai. Uh, I come from Thailand. Uh, I'm working at the Panga Mangrove Research Center uh, under in the Mangrove Resources Conservation Office Department of Marine and Coastal Resources, Thailand. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Suchat. Next, we have Paul. Paul, it's your time for introduction. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Paul. I'm from okay. Singapore. I'm, uh, currently, I'm a lecturer at the uh, Republic Poly. Uh, I'm with the Diploma in the Marine Science and Aquaculture. Uh, so I'm very excited to be in this training course because I hope that uh, whatever I've learned will be able to translate uh, in my teaching for Diploma students. Okay, great. Okay, thank you, Paul. Okay, next we have Dira. Where's Dira? <laughs> okay, it's your turn now to introduce. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon. Uh, thank you, Usofi, Pak Yaya and the training organizer. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Dira. I am from Faculty of Fisheries and Marine Science, Universitas Brawijaya, Malang, Indonesia. I have worked in mangrove on my department, mostly uh, for mangrove uh, physical uh, aspect. And also we work with the local community to help them to improve their uh, uh, activity as our uh, community services activity from University of Brawijaya. It's a great opportunity to join uh, 
uh, in this training and we hope we can discuss uh, a new method and also we can learn and share from another participant and also from our uh, mentor uh, related to mangrove sampling and also a new approach in data analysis. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Dira. Okay. Next, we have Irma. Irma, it's your turn. It's your turn to introduce yourself. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you very much for uh, opportunity. Um, okay. The first, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Irma Ahrianti. I come from Bangka Belitung Archipelago Province. Uh, nationality Indonesian. I'm lecturer at the university at the University of Bangka Belitung. Uh, my focus research um, mangrove ecology and remote sensing. And then um, I hope this training uh, uh, going to success uh, in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, nice to meet you. you all, everybody. Okay. Thank you, Irma. Nice to meet you too. Okay. Next we have Win. Uh, when is your time to introduce yourself? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My good name time. is Win Malonga. I'm lecturer at Biotechnology Department at Sumbawa University of Technology, Indonesia. Uh, my basic my basic study is about environmental protection. Uh, I'm very interested about mangrove resource, especially about remote sensing and microplastic contamination in the ocean. I hope uh, we can enjoy this uh, training. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. And uh, next we have Eddie. Okay, Eddie, it's your time to introduce yourself now. Okay, thank you very much, Miss Sophia. Uh, before I introduce myself, uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. I really want to express my gratitude to Miss Sophia, to Miss Riaya, and to everyone in LIPI because uh, for, for selecting me as one of the participants of the MHI training. And I am from Semarang, uh, Universitas Negeri Semarang, or you can say Semarang State University, located in Central Java. And now I am the first year lecturer, the new lecturer in Universitas Negeri Semarang. So I really... I hope that I can gain a lot of things from this training. Thank you so much, Miss Sophia and Miss Rea. Okay, thank you, Andy. Now it's time, uh, Ferry, to introduce yourself. Yes. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Afternoon. Thanks, Miss Sophia, and thanks for the opportunity to join the LIPI Mangrove training. Uh, I'm Ferry Ducayadi. Uh, now I'm working as junior lecturer in Universitas Pendidikan Indonesia or UP in Bandung, West Java at Department of Marine and Fisheries Education. Uh, nice to meet you all. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very. Okay, next we have Muhammad. Where is Muhammad? Okay, your turn now. Yeah, hi everyone. Hi, Sophie. Uh, I'm so glad to be involved in this training. Well, I'm actually working as a lecturer in the uh, Mandal uh, Undigma, Madalika University of Education in NTB. And um, my field of expert is actually forest and nature conservation, but I've been um, developing my interest in mangrove since a since long time ago. So I hope that this kind of training will give me uh, such new knowledge and skills that, um, that will be fruitful in the future. So yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you, Muhammad. Next, we have Komaria. Okay, your turn now. Thank you, uh, Bu Sophie. Uh, nice to see you again. Uh, first of all, uh, very good morning, good afternoon, and good evening for uh, all of you guys uh, around the world. Um, I want to say thank you for the committee that uh, for the great opportunity to have me uh, join this training. Uh, I'm Komaria Ervita. You can call me Ervita. Currently, I'm working. I'm working in uh, World Resources Institute. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm. I'm working in uh, World uh, Resources Institute, uh, country region Indonesia, as a physical oceanography researcher. 
Okay, thank you, Komaria. Uh, okay, uh, next we have Akmal. Akmal, it's your turn to introduce yourself. Yes. Yes. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you, Mrs. Sophie. Uh, good to see you again. Thank you. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Akmal Fatur Rahman. I am working for BPSWL Pontianak, Ministry of Marine Affairs and Fisheries, Republic of Indonesia. Uh, and, I, and I hope this training could give us some better insights to make a better policy about mangroves. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Akmal. Next, we have Amandangi. Amanang, Amandangi, it's your turn now. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. First of all, I would like uh, to say thank you for your having me here. My name is Amandangi. Uh, you can call me Amanda. Uh, I am affiliate at Institute for Marine Research and Observation, a technical uh, unit under the Ministry of Marine Affairs and Fisheries Republic Indonesia. Currently, I'm living in Japan uh, to pursue my uh, master degree at Yamaguchi University. Uh, here in Yamaguchi, uh, I incorporate uh, to uh, the Space Utilization Engineering Laboratory. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, Amanda. Okay, next we have Doni. Where is Doni? Okay, Doni. Hello. Uh, good afternoon for everyone. Uh, my name is Doni Nurdiansa. You can call me Doni. And I'm working as a young researcher in the Center for Oceanography, LIPI, or P2O. Uh, I hope this training encourages my skill and I have a new networking about mangrove around the world. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, Doni. Uh, next, we have Hangar. Hangar, it's your time to introduce yourself. Now. Okay, thank you very much, Mbak Sophie. Okay. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon, uh, Good afternoon. In, from Indonesia. Yeah. Um, Good afternoon. Yeah, my name is Hangar, Hangar Prasetyo, and you can call me Hangar. Um, I'm from Conservation International Indonesia now, and then I'm work close with the marine protected area, two minutes minute protected area, and to make marine protected area around of Indonesia. And I'm close now is working with the blue carbon, uh, especially from for seagrass and mangrove, and then this big opportunity to know each other, and maybe we can collaborate how to work together. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Hangar. Next, we have uh, Nimade. I think. Okay. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Nimade Ernawati, but you can call me uh, Erna. Uh, I'm from uh, Udayana University as a lecturer at uh, Faculty of Marine and Fishery. Uh, thank you for the committee, uh, for the great opportunity, opportunity given to me to join this uh, training. Uh, nice to see you all. Okay, thank you, Nimadi. Nice to see you too also. Okay, next we have Sifa. Okay, Sifa. Sifa, okay, we can Sifa. hear you. Ah, we still cannot hear you, Sifa. Uh, I think we still cannot hear you. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, maybe later on we can get more acquaintance in the WhatsApp group. Okay, Sifa. Okay, uh, next uh, we will continue the introduction to Jansen. Where's Jansen? Okay, Jansen, your turn now. Thank you, Mrs. Sophie. Uh, Good to see you again, Mrs. Sophie, Mr. Mr. Wayan, Mr. Yaya, and Mr. Woody. 
Thank you very much. Uh, hey everyone, my name is Janson Peters. You can call me Janson or Jansen. Uh, I am from in Indonesia and I work at Patimura University. Thank you, nice to meet you. Okay, thank you, Jansen. Nice to meet you too again. Okay, uh, last participant, we have Patrick. Where is Patrick now? Okay, Patrick, your turn. Hello, everyone. Um, yeah, it was an honor to be participating in this uh, training course. My name is Patrick. I have been a research assistant at the um, CRC 990, the collaborative research project focusing on the um, ecological and socioeconomic effects of the rainforest transformations in Sumatra. So to be frankly honest, uh, mangrove is completely new stuff for my side. That's why I'm, I'm looking forward to, to uh, broaden my theoretical and practical knowledge in terms of uh, mangrove ecosystem management. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Patrick. I think it's all right, the introduction between the participants. But among us uh, today, we also have our instructor and you will get to, uh, I, I'm sure you, you'll get to know them better uh, during the training, but now we will introduce you one by one. Uh, but uh, I think it's limited into Indonesian instructor because uh, the, the uh, others instructor, uh, we have a different time zone and they already live, but you will meet again in the Zoom class. I think we will start the introduction for the instructor. First, so we will start with uh, Wayan Eka Darmawan. He's the, the man behind the training. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, Wayan, you, you may introduce yourself now. Thank you, Miss Sophie. I'm really glad to see you here now. Uh, maybe, and finally, we can meet face to face, even online in in the online meeting. Since we have discussed each other through we are group from Sunday, I think. And current, uh, okay, let me introduce myself. My name is Iwayan Ekadarmawan. I currently I'm a I'm a researcher from Research Center for Oceanography in Bioecology Bioecology and Coastal Vegetation Research Group. Since joining in uh, Indonesian Institute of Sciences, I have been working with uh, several subjects closely related on the mangrove ecosystem. And from, from, from the beginning until now, I work consistently in a mangrove ecosystem. Hope, hopefully in the next time we can collaborate and share our experience. But I, I think I'm not a... I'm not a facilitator or, or teacher, maybe it's just we can share each other and never hesitate for any questions to ask to the uh, organizing committee uh, uh, related to the training. Thank you, Ms. Sophie. Okay, thank you, uh, Wayan. Or uh, his nickname is Eka. You may also call him Eka. <laughs> okay, next we have one of the senior one. Uh, it is Mr. Suyarso, uh, Pak Yarso. Uh, Pak Yarso, may I, uh, you may introduce yourself. Uh, you're still online now. Pak Suyarso, hello. Oh. Maybe we can move. Sorry, oh. I, I have a problem okay, Pak Yarso. with our video. Oh, okay. That's okay. We can hear your voice. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm not teacher or everything, but uh, I just will help you. Uh, my my hobby and my uh, knowledge just in GIS, uh, and I have uh, I will help uh, Mas Bayu to uh, everything what you want, <laughs> especially in GIS. Okay, thank you, Mas Sofi. Okay, okay, thank you, Pak Yarso. Okay, next we have uh, Doctor Yaya Ihya Ulumudin. Okay, uh, I always call him Kang Yaya. Okay, Kang Yaya. Uh, Kang right. is bro. <laughs> 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 you may call him also Kang. All right, thank you, uh, Mbak Sophie or Miss Sophie. Uh, <laughs> terima kasih. Uh, well, uh, my name is Yaya Iya Ulmudin. Uh, you just call me Yaya. That's a simple, simple name. Uh, who am I? Actually, I am... Uh, a partner of crime, uh, Wayan Eka, in Mangrove. Okay. I think that's enough for the introduction. So <laughs> we, know we, are, we are now our partner of crime, I think. 
Oke. Oke, last but not least right. we have uh, we have uh, Mas Bro Bayu. Oke, okay. uh, Bayu Prayuda. Oke, okay, your turn now to introduce okay. yourself. Thank you very much Ibu Sofi. Good afternoon everyone. My name is Bayu Prayuda. Simply you can you can call me Bayu. I'm a researcher of the Research Center for Oceanography, Indonesian Institute of Sciences. And sometimes we call the, our institution with the RCOLDP, Research Center for Oceanography. And I, I have been working on the spatial study, especially related to the coastal ecosystem since joining with the RCOLDP. And currently, uh, me and the, the other colleagues, which uh, Mr. Eka, Mr. Yaya, and Mr. Suyarso, We have a project on the development of the mangrove felt index. And in this project, I contribute on the spatial aspect of the study, especially related to the, the utilization of the remote sensing for the mangrove felt index mapping. So uh, I think in this uh, training uh, session, I will help you to assist on the application of the remote sensing for the identification of mangrove ecosystem. And it's really properties. And the three. Thank you very much. Oke, okay, thank you uh, Bayu for the introduction. Oke, okay, aside from the instructor, uh, I would also kindly would like to invite all of the person behind the the LMS and also the preparation for the training. Uh, we got help from uh, several very important person for for us in this training. Oke, okay, uh, you can annoy them. 24 hours during the <laughs> during the week. Oke, okay, yeah, we will start. <laughs> the most important person I think for the yes. <laughs> Oke, okay, we will start first with uh, Mas Furkon. Oke, okay, Mas Nurul Furkon. Uh, can I see your face now? You're still online. Tembak, Mas. Oke, okay, Mas Furkon. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oke. Okay. Oke, okay, you can introduce yourself now. Okay, uh, thank you, Ms. Alfi. Uh, I would like to introduce myself. My name is uh, Muhammad Nurul Furkan. Uh, honestly, I just help uh, uh, Mr. Ekawayan in uh, in modules. I think they saw. Okay. Okay, thank you, uh, Mas Furkan. Okay, next we have our two beautiful admins in the WhatsApp group. I'm sure you already know the names, but now you can get to see their face. Okay, we will start with our MC for today, which is our admin also, uh, Tami. Where is Tami? You can introduce yourself now. I'm here. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Sophie. Um, I am, uh, my name is Utami Duestuti. You can call me Tami. Uh, as you know, I'm the one who invite you to the WA group. Uh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> It's simple. Okay. Next we have Amel. Where is Amel now? If you see the ID Miamun, it's uh, well actually it's the nickname for Amel. I don't know Amel. Okay. Hello. Hello, Miss Sophie. Okay. You may introduce yourself. Uh, okay. Uh, my name is Mia Amelia. You can call me Amel. I'm from Center for uh, Development, Education, and Training, LIPI. Okay, thank you. And we also have uh, uh, Mr. Budi. Uh, is Mr. Budi is with us today? Mr. T. Budi? Hello. Hello, hello. hello. Okay, you, you may introduce yourself. yourself. This is the IT admin. So whenever you get trouble with the <laughs> system, yeah, you can annoy him. Okay. <laughs> Oke, okay. hello Where is... everybody. Uh, my name is uh, T. Budi Suwarsono. Uh, you can call me uh, T. B. Uh, I want uh, apa? Uh, <laughs> I'm behind the LMS system uh, for you. Thanks. Okay, thank you. And then we have Sisi, our secretariat. Uh, the name is Siti Sulha, but uh, 
He, her dear name is CC. Where is CC? You may introduce yourself now, CC. CC, hello. CC. Yes, yes, hello. Yeah, okay, CC, show your face to us. <laughs> I'm after praying. Uh, hello, hello okay. everyone. My name is Siti Sulha. Uh, helping uh, Miss uh, Sofia and Wayan to conduct the training. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Sisi. And last but not least, uh, one of the very important person that we we wait uh, for our last topic, which is uh, Yunus. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Yunus, uh, okay. Oh, we can only see your head now. <laughs> okay, Yunus, you may start the introduction and then uh, you, you you can start the, the explain, you can start explaining about the LMS system and how it works with uh, the participants. Okay, you may start now. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Ms. Sophie, for um, guiding the introduction session. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Yunus. Uh, I'm from the Center for Development, Education and Training, or Puspindikla, LIPI. And I'm the one who sent you uh, the call for participants letter by email. So <laughs> uh, I hope you still remember that, right? And uh, um, let's have uh, a session for a training overview and uh, LMS guidance. And uh, Mr. Tribudi will help me. Please, Mr. Tribudi. So uh, for all participants, uh, we would like to attract your attention, please, for uh, the LMS system, because uh, every single thing, every uh, activity in this training course uh, is based on the LMS system. So uh, what uh, LMS system is all about, I think uh, we can explain in detail uh, through our presentation here. Next. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, distinguished participants for uh, uh, mangrove, mangrove Health Index training, uh, we start with general information so uh, RCO or the Research Center for Oceanography Lipi through CORMAP CDI um, have conducted scientific activities, uh, for example, field surveys uh, as a mangrove health index base. And next, uh, mangrove health index is to accommodate some essential parameters, community structure, uh, kind of pick up rate, blend uh, density, uh, and so on and so forth. And the next uh, formula of index to have been approved and validated by national experts and uh, some simulations. I think uh, all about general information uh, can, be, can be viewed uh, through the file that you have uh, already downloaded uh, on the LMS, I think. so. Uh, we can move to the next slide, Pa uh, Tribudi, please. Well, uh, training objectives. Uh, we have some uh, objectives for uh, mangrove health index training, uh, among others, uh, to develop and strengthen the capacity and capability of human resources, especially young researchers and lecturers from member states in the Indo-West Pacific in mangrove ecosystem and also to apply methods on mangrove health index on regional protocol to promote collaborations among scientific, uh, among scientists, I'm sorry, inside and outside the region on the long-term monitoring of mangrove ecosystem. And also to facilitate access and dissemination of information related to mangrove ecosystem in order to be widely distributed, transferred and applied with, within Westpac region and beyond. So uh, these are uh, the objectives of our training, right? And the specific aims of this training are uh, to deliver skill and knowledge of mangrove monitoring concept, identifying the study area, conducting data collection through field survey, analyzing and uh, 
a data interpretation and also applying mangrove health index. And next. So uh, if we talk about uh, targeted participants uh, for our training, for a mangrove health index training, so uh, they, uh, there are some uh, participants targeted, uh, especially uh, for this training. Uh, those are uh, students and young researchers and lecturers from Indonesia and also other member states of uh, Westpac, uh, Indo-West Pacific region, and also ICE, uh, Archipelago and Island States, and also ASEAN, right? And also universities and research institutions and member states in the Indo-West Pacific region, and also uh, ICE or Archipelago and Island States, and also ASEAN and also various stakeholders in the field of conservation and environmental protection. And uh, to be noted, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, this training uh, is only for 30 selected participants, even though uh, there have been many applications, more than 100 applications uh, we have uh, already received, but only 30 selected participants uh, that consists of young scientists, uh, with working experience in related fields, uh, in uh, uh, fields of uh, mangrove health index. So uh, you are guys, uh, the selected participants, so congratulations. And also uh, the training application is uh, by registration form. Uh, we have uh, distributed kind of uh, information, uh, flyer uh, and so on and so forth, right? And also a uh, selection process, uh, has been done by the committee, right? Well, um, this is it, the training uh, curriculum. I think uh, it has been so clear, right? Uh, I, I think we don't have to talk about the training curriculum. I think uh, we can move to the next slide, uh, Debbie. Well, uh, training methods. Uh, the training methods, um, are distance learning by e-learning uh, through learning management system or LMS, uh, which is managed by uh, the Center for Development and Education and Training or Puspin Klatlipi. And uh, what is LMS? Uh, probably it is a question for all of you guys. And LMS is a software application for administration, documentation, tracking, reporting uh, for educational courses or training programs. So uh, that's what we are uh, using, right? For this training. And the address for uh, our uh, learning management system is uh, elearning.leap.co.it. And each participant uh, will be given an individual account to log in. And also uh, learning methods uh, in this case are uh, asynchronous or self-contained and also synchronous or classical by virtual meeting. And uh, we use Zoom meeting for synchronous uh, learning method, right? Next. And also um, we need to know about the fellowships of this training program, right? Uh, we all have collaborated with uh, the Indonesian National Commission for UNESCO or uh, K on, uh, KNIU, uh, uh, Professor Arif Rahman yeah, is the chairman of uh, the Indonesian National Commission for UNESCO. Uh, he has uh, delivered his speech in the opening ceremony. And also we have collaborated with uh, other uh, government institutions, uh, among others, Coordinating Ministry for Maritime Affairs and Investment, and also Ministry of uh, Foreign Affairs, and also United Nations uh, Development Program, or UNDP, and Third Institute of uh, Oceanography, uh, under the Ministry for Marine Natural Resources. And also, uh, uh, we have also collaborated with uh, some local universities, right? Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, dear uh, participants, the next slide is about mandatory training requirements. So uh, in this case, uh, you all guys as participants of this training should pay attention to uh, the requirements, what to do and what uh, what to do and what 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 to was it like um, what to be done uh, during you know the learning process uh, in this training course. Well, please uh, being on time, yes, 
uh, be on time in learning uh, learning through LMS uh, and paying attention to a training agenda day by day, reading and uh, following uh, all instructions and guides at LMS in accordance with uh, the stipulated uh, date setting. Okay, second please. Okay, where is Yunus now? Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, there is uh, trouble with uh, my laptop, so uh, the connection is <laughs> in trouble. Okay. I'm sorry about okay. that. Okay, well, you can start again. Uh, please read and follow all learning instructions and guides at LMS in accordance with the stipulated time setting. And also, uh, don't forget to download all kinds of material at LMS fill in the attendance list day by day, and everything is uh, through LMS. And also, uh, please complete the task of each training subject without exceeding the specified time limit. And please fill out all kinds of evaluation at LMS. And, you know, after, uh, uh, after completing all activities or uh, steps at the LMS. So um, on the last day, you are going to have the certificate and you can download by yourself at the LMS for the certificate, guys. And please prepare your own cell to take part in virtual class sessions through Zoom meeting uh, that we call synchronous session on each training material at least 15 minutes before the session starts. So that's why uh, you need to be uh, timely, don't be late, right? Uh, we, as the organizing committee, really need your cooperation for this. And also please, uh, during uh, each virtual class session, uh, make sure you activate your video features, right? And also uh, follow uh, the instructor's rules during the virtual class session. And last but not least, uh, you need to prepare additional needs to support um, the process of uh, learning uh, during the training, such as a laptop perhaps, or a computer or a PC. And also uh, internet connection, uh, it is very important. And uh, stationary if, uh, if you find it necessary. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, we are moving to uh, the LMS guidance. Uh, I think you have already tried uh, yesterday how to use uh, the LMS, right? Next. It is how to access and log in. Yeah. Uh, please uh, pay attention to uh, the link or uh, the address elearning.lipi.go.id. And next, um, you will you know you will find the open browser. And next, all right. Just make sure uh, the address you type uh, is correct, right? elearning.lipi.go.id. And well, it will be this way. Submit user ID and also password uh, that uh, the organizing committee has given to all participants, right? Your username and your password. Don't make a mistake with it. And also, uh, ladies and gentlemen, well, we need to inform you that each activity uh, should be clicked to complete, you know, to complete uh, the activities. So uh, 
like this. Recently, Access Forces, you need to choose Mangrove Health Index Training 2020 and next. Well, um, this is a kind of uh, overview or introduction to uh, what the training is all about. Next. Well, how to download software? It is very important. Uh, software, image J, uh, and so on and so forth. I think it is very, you know, uh, very crucial, you know. Uh, uh, you need to select the software according to your laptop or computer specifications. So I think uh, this is very specific. So in case of uh, in case of any uh, substantial matters or uh, troubles uh, with you know uh, these kinds of applications, I think uh, you need to uh, ask uh, Mr. Wayan Eka, Mr. Bayu, or Mr. Yaya, and uh, uh, I'm quite sure they will help you. Right. Next, uh, attendance. It is very important, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, all participants should fill in the attendance. Uh, through LMS, you know, it is uh, the first step for every single day of uh, learning process uh, during the training. And then um, don't forget to insert your password and also uh, choose correctly, right? Uh, let's say MHI-2020 and also uh, you choose present, right? And then you save the change. And next, uh, we are going to talk about module and uh, presentations. All right, you can have a look at um, the slide. What is synchronous and what is asynchronous, right? So uh, every uh, single step should be completed because you know uh, this learning system. I mean LMS is made uh, sequential, as I told you yesterday. So uh, you cannot move forward uh, before completing uh, the previous steps, right? So don't forget. And also uh, you need uh, to click the icon. So. Uh, Every activity at the LMS uh, should be clicked, but you know, uh, the icon, I mean, you should click the icon, the icon, okay. Like uh, on the slide, right? And next uh, tutorial video, let's say uh, data acquisition and introduction to QGIS, uh, right? So please uh, click uh the play button yeah play video and please uh, watch the video from the beginning to the end right hello ba i'm sorry to bother you yes. um you give your video to no i cannot see your your video thank you Okay, second please. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm sorry, there ha there is a trouble with my laptop. So, uh, right. Hopefully, you can see my face, right? Thank you. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry about that. And next, um, ladies and gentlemen. So, if you want to uh, log into the Zoom. So please use your username at the LMS, right? Like video conference uh, or synchronous, you just need to uh, to choose this, uh, the icon, right? Just click it. And next, well, and you will move to uh, what is like Zoom link, right? To uh, to join the virtual session or virtual class. So uh, please insert your ID and also uh, insert also your passcode, right? And please click uh, 
the button join. Right. I think it is very easy to do, right? And last but not least, um, we are, we also have uh, evaluation. It is very important for uh, Pushpin Cloud. So uh, that's why all participants should uh, fill out uh, the evaluation. So there are some kinds of evaluation, uh, LMS evaluation, and also training evaluation, and also uh, facilitators, yeah? uh, evaluation for facilitators. And uh, the last step uh, on the last day is, uh, next, what do Next, uh, it is evaluation. You just need to insert your answers, right? I think it's very easy to do. Uh, all right, and uh, this one is about uh, assignment. Assignment or task by uh, every uh, facilitator or every teacher. So you just, um, you just need to upload uh, the task or the assignment. And please uh, pay attention to uh, the time, uh, the time limit, so don't be late. As I told you uh, several times, please be timely. Don't be late. We need your cooperation for this. It's very easy to upload uh, the assignment. You just need to add file and also choose file, save format, and upload. And last but not least is uh, save changes. Just uh, You just need to click uh, the button, save changes. And uh, the last step on the last day of the training is uh, downloading certificate. So if you have already completed all kinds of uh, steps um, uh, on the LMS, so on the last day, you can download your certificate by yourself. So uh, thank you very much, uh, guys, for your attention. And uh, after this, uh, I think there will be a Q&A session with uh, Pak Eka, Pak Bayu, and also Pak Yaya. So in case of any substan uh, substantial matters, I think you can ask. Thank you. OK. Anyone would like to ask something or already get already getting tired? <laughs> I just have one more concern. OK. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm just wondering. Uh, I'm Isuru. Okay, Isuru. Um, okay. So yeah, I'm just wondering uh, if we can download the videos that you have put in as activities, or is it just we have to look it online, watch it online? Okay, Eka, you want you want you want to answer? Or uh, for the video, I think uh, we just show the video, and you you only can see the video. But you, you can download that, I think. Thanks, Elizabeth. Maybe if you have a cheat or something, maybe you can. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, anyone else would like to ask something? Okay, if uh, there's no one to ask, I think that's a wrap for uh, this afternoon session. Okay, everybody, uh, thank you very much for your attention, starting from the, probably yesterday, when you start uh, uh, engaging with the LMS. I hope uh, you will not get any trouble with the LMS system, but uh, if you find any troubleshooting or you want to ask uh, more, uh, there is a WhatsApp group that, uh, the, that can facilitate you uh, for the uh, ask and uh, for the Q&A session. <laughs> okay, I think that's a wrap for, uh, for, for now. Uh, we will see you tomorrow. Uh, you may look at the program book that uh, I already shared with you previously. Uh, and then we will remind you also again in the group uh, what time uh, all of you will start the Zoom session tomorrow. Okay, thank you everyone. Uh, hope you have a great day. Oke, okay, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.
Please ensure that you have already downloaded and installed all of uh, app or software. Thank you. Uh, okay, please, please, please. Uh -huh. Please activate, activate your video. But Sophie already live or? I think yes. Uh, so uh, please, could you please to open your video and we have take a one one more time for a uh, photo sessions together I are so maybe home you have any video mas afif mahdi okay please by yunus you can read okay. your photo sessions okay uh one two three Next second please well, the second page. One, two, three. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much. Thank, you. thank you very much. Thank you very much for everyone, for those from Eastern Asia. I think tomorrow you will be late in the late morning i think <laughs> join with us in the late morning but yes. but i think you can do that okay thank you very much uh thank you. bye Joanne. okay see you all you can leave now maybe bye Tommy. okay see you see you